subscribe to Femina and press the bell icon. Hi, I'm Nikita and today we are in conversation with beauty and fashion photographer Vikram Bawa who is part of the jury for Nykaa Femina Beauty Awards 2020. Hi, how are you today? All good. Hi everyone. <laughs> and how does it feel like to be a part of the jury? It's been interesting. It was an interesting, uh, I can say, small journey, looking at the products, going through the whole thing. Quite interesting. I didn't even know there were so many products. <laughs> right. So I have a couple of questions for you. So should yes. we get right yes, into it? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so what is your favorite thing about beauty photography? Um, uh, favorite thing is that I get to shoot with some of the best models, you know, celebrities, actors in the country, around the world. Um, I love working with people. So for me, great makeup, you know, and I get to experiment with my lighting, which is uh, my, you know, thing for me. So that's what excites me. Great. How do you think beauty has evolved over the year? Because it's constantly changing, right? So. Well, uh, when I started out, it was all about porcelain skin, you know, uh, makeup being, uh, you know, iced into your skin. So you get the porcelain feel because it's all, you know, we used to shoot on film and all. Now it's all raw, which is my favorite, has always been my favorite and I love the fact that, uh, you know, beauty has evolved to a place where we are not trying to hide all the imperfections. We are okay with the imperfections and we are still trying to put it out there and say this is how we are and this is how we want to be portrayed, which is really exciting for me. And beauty to you is? Well, uh, beauty to me is uh, in everyone because uh, with my experience, um, um, some bad ones, some good ones, I've learned that there's no one who can look beautiful. Everyone has an inner beauty. It's my job to capture it and get it out. So that for me is real beauty. Okay, and uh, how can the industry be more inclusive when it comes to beauty? Stop taking out whitening creams. I mean, our skin, Indian skin is beautiful. A tan, a brown, whatever it is, it's beautiful. Why don't we highlight it and show to the world that, you know, we are the way we are and we are beautiful the way we are. I think that is something all of us really need to accept and learn and take it forward. Uh, a common mistake photographers make while shooting beauty editorials and any advice you would like to add to that? One lighting doesn't work on every face. First, you have to understand what the shoot is about. It's like the brief, you know, then your casting. And for that, as a photographer, you need to understand what you're shooting, who you're shooting and accordingly light and take the photos and give the final results if it's for a client, you know. So I think the most common mistake is they take one big softbox and they think it's going to make magic. It's not how it works, guys. So experiment. Okay, and uh, you've been in this field for a while. So what attracted you to this art, the art of photography in the first place? I was unemployed. <laughs> as basic as that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the truth. And you've grown to love it. I always loved it. No, I mean, I was unemployed, but photography was something, uh, I guess, in my blood because my parents did it as a hobby. Brilliant work. I Even I can't touch their work. And uh, so I guess when I was growing up, I saw their work. I got hooked onto it somehow. Somewhere I fell in love and gave up everything and I, I mean, got into it. So and here we are. For me, it's like, you know, I can wink and I can capture a moment in my eye. That, that's how it is. That is so lovely. And uh, okay, what is your favorite thing to capture? Life, I, everything. I've got pictures uh, from you name the landscape to people, maybe shots of my brush, my pot, my <laughs> wash basin, my towel, name it. I capture everything. It's, it's a record basically of what I do in life, if you want to call it. Is there like one subject that you like or prefer more than the others? No, I, I, for, I you know, I'm a lover of life uh, in the sense I've got. Uh, I've been gifted with so many things by God. So for me, it's I have to take a photo. It doesn't matter. It has to be captured. Everything has to be captured. I see pictures everywhere. Like, you know, even when I'm seeing, for me, this whole group is a picture. Like, I can see the products as a picture. I see pictures. I don't know how to explain that. But I'm seeing images everywhere. So for me, I want to just capture. There's no one thing. I mean, if you were to say, okay, uh, you know, travel would be my favorite. But that also, you know, uh, I'll break it down to the smallest denomination and I can even capture my shoes. It doesn't matter. I love photography. It's in the blood. 
Okay. And uh, who is your favorite celebrity to work with and why? Okay, this is going to sound a little cliched if you want to call it, but uh, the celebrity of the day. I have to be in love with the celebrity to make them look good. And the celebrity of the day is? <laughs> Nika. <laughs> <laughs> today and uh, but yeah that's a fact i love to shoot whoever's in front of me is the celebrity for me that day whether it's a small first time model or you know a very big celebrity but having worked with all the people i think the most fun guys or uh, at the same the most professional guys would be like a shilpa shetty and akshay kumar and mr bachchan you know they all have different qualities and they all uh, are so giving to the camera which is something that i really love oh. uh, name three things that make any shoot perfect like without these things you should do it really concept casting and uh, your hard work when i mean concept it's what you're shooting why you're shooting even if it's for a brand or anything or for personal when i mean casting it means model makeup artist your lighting guys your team and uh, hard work everyone's included in mine of course okay and if not fashion and beauty what kind of photography would you have pursued mm, uh, mostly landscape i think travel yeah okay uh describe your journey to being a sort of a fashion photographer in three words uh first one is two words sorry hard work <laughs> consistency patience i think the last one is the maximum all right and advice you would give aspiring photographers mm, you know uh, open your mind to the world uh, see as much as you can visuals art uh, you know painting sculptures everything what you need to also do is experiment a lot get inspired do not copy make your own style Okay, and tell us something surprising or quirky about the way you work. Um, <laughs> okay, I think this is the first time I'm saying this, but um, after work in the studios, when I'm working alone most of the time in the nights, um, loud music, head banging, or actually get up from the chair and dance. Interesting. And we dare you to show us the last picture you captured on your phone. It's not very interesting. It's just a shot of my car. Still like to see it, and the story behind it. Story, yeah, well. Random click or? Yeah, I don't just a random click. So I have a old classic car which is being done up for three years, and uh, so driving that around, and I mean I was just at near Kala Goda waiting for someone, and that's it. That's just the picture of my car. So nothing special or you know whatever. <laughs> Okay, so that was it for our conversation with Vikram Baba. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks. All the best, guys.